Hey everyone, it's John with Seattle Coffee Gear. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I hope you're excited for today's video. We're talking about the new Apartamento TCA from Rocket Espresso. Before we get started, subscribe to our channel, especially if you're in the process of deciding on your next piece of coffee equipment. We're always putting out new videos with tips, tricks, products recommendations, and everything coffee. The TCA is an update on the original Apartamento that was launched about eight years ago in 2016. The original Apartamento has been Rocket's most popular home espresso machine pretty much since that launch. I'm sure some of you watching this video have had some kind of experience with that original Apartamento. If you did, leave us a comment down below and let us know if you're excited for this TCA. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna make a cappuccino on the TCA and see how it performs. Let's jump right in and talk about the design of the new TCA. Rocket updated the design of the original Apartamento but kept the aesthetics that so many people love. I think this new version looks a little bit more refined with those cutouts tapering in slightly towards that inner panel. It also makes the machine just look sturdier overall and have a bit more presence. You can see that we still have the Chrome and Nera models available. As always, the Nera is just a powder coated black version of the same machine. There's no functional differences between the two colors. A carryover from the original Apartamento is the different color cutouts you can choose from when purchasing your machine. The Chrome model comes with either copper, black, or white inserts, and the Nera model comes with either copper or black inserts. That color is also carried onto the back of the machine where you get a really nice stripe and the vertical rocket logo. They did do away with the removable cup rail of this machine, which adds a little bit of height compared to the original Apartamento, but that does mean the days of cracked and broken cup rails are behind us with the TCA. At first glance, the TCA looks very similar to the original Apartamento, but the further you look at these machines, the more differences you'll notice. They're all subtle differences, but when you add them all together, it's a meaningful update on that older machine. They updated most of the hard plastic touch points to be a more matte, soft touch plastic. So things like the steam wand knobs, the portafilter handle, and the brew lever handle all have this new soft touch plastic. You'll probably notice that the portafilter itself received a substantial upgrade. We'll cover this more when we talk about features, but they also have their own casting of the E61 group, which adds a little bit of mass and is really a nice update to this classic design that's been around for so long. The last thing I want to cover is that they changed the design of the chassis. In years prior, the drip tray was separate from the chassis of the machine. This meant, especially for our repair center, if somebody shipped their machine to us for repair and didn't pack it well, there was a good chance that that drip tray would get broken or bent in shipping. Now that this is one piece with the chassis of the machine, it'll handle shipping a lot better in case you do need to send your machine somewhere for repair. Moving on from design, let's talk about some of the new features of the TCA. The big update with this new model is hidden in the name of it. TCA stands for Temperature Control Adjustment. The TCA now has a PID that is used to control the temperature of the boiler. This is still a heat exchanger machine, but the boiler is now insulated. Combining the PID, insulated boiler, and the extra mass from the new group, we've seen an increase in temperature stability compared to the original Apartamento. Let's talk more about that temperature control adjustment from the PID. To adjust the temperature control, it's a slightly involved process that'll take a little bit of practice to nail down, but it's a really clean and simple way once you wrap your head around the controls of the machine. The machine really only has a few controls on it, you have your knobs for hot water and steam, you have your brew lever, and you have your on-off switch. 
Rocket kept the look of the TCA really simple and classy by not having much clutter as far as screens or buttons on the face of the machine. To access those temperature control adjustments, you turn the machine off, lift the brew lever, turn the machine back on, and then wait for that status light to turn yellow. As soon as it turns yellow, lower the brew lever and you are into that programming mode. And there you can choose between your low, medium, high, or very high settings. Those different levels are indicated by the number of times that the indicator light flashes, be it one, two, three, or four. Also in this programming mode is the available eco mode. Eco mode can be turned on or off. When it's on, your machine will automatically shut off if it hasn't been used for 30 minutes. I do wish that they had elaborated on the eco mode a little bit more and maybe made that time adjustable or gave it an idle mode like some other machines have. If you were a fan of the original Apartamento because of its simplicity, but you've grown in your coffee skills and knowledge and want a little bit more control, the TCA might be the next step for you. To be honest, the TCA is not the right machine for somebody who wants to know the exact degree of temperature that their coffee is brewed at. That being said, if you want to brew espresso from light to dark and everything in between, and you want to tweak some of the parameters to draw more flavors out of those coffees, the TCA allows you to do that. The low temperature setting tends to work well for those darker roasted coffees, and then you have medium, high, and very high for exactly that for medium roast coffees and lighter roasted coffees that need a little bit more energy to get a balanced extraction. The last feature I wanna mention is a little Easter egg that Rocket hid on the top back of the cup rail of the machine. To be honest with you, we had to bring in a special source our customer support manager who actually lived in Italy for a while, and even he had to do some research to figure out this Easter egg. If you know what it is, if you know what it says, leave a comment down below. We're not gonna spoil it for you just yet. We've hit all the important updates to the TCA, so let's move on to our pros and cons for this model. The first pro that we wanna mention is one that comes up a lot when talking about Rocket Espresso. And that's the looks of the machine. The TCA is so distinctive. Even before details of it were released and we just had images on social media, we had potential customers asking us when we'd be getting this machine, if we had more info on it, because it just looks great. It looks good on video, but in person it looks even better. The next pro has to be the addition of the PID. The PID really adds that extra stability I talked about and also the adjustability to be able to brew better espresso from coffees at all different roast levels. Moving on to the cons, it's the reverse of that PID and that's the lack of fine tunability in it. Like I mentioned earlier, it's really not the machine for somebody who wants to control their boiler temperature down to the precise degree. The next con has a little bit to do with the design of the machine. Rocket kept the aesthetics very clean on the face of the machine, but they didn't give it the shot timer or brew pressure gauge that you get on some of the more expensive models. One note I'll make about brew pressure, because I'm sure we're gonna get comments about it. There's a lot of misinformation out there about the original Apartamento and a lot of espresso machines with vibratory pumps. Contrary to popular belief and a lot of commentary out there, your expansion valve does not need to be adjusted in order to brew at nine bars. On these machines, if you're using the right dose, you're tamping properly and getting a shot time in 25 to 30 seconds, you're going to be brewing at nine bars. If you're trying to do a much longer shot in the 35, 40, 45 second range, a heat exchanger machine probably isn't the best fit for you because they're not designed and calibrated to provide consistent temperatures at those longer shot times. Now that we've talked about everything from design to features to pros and cons, I think it's time that we grind some coffee, steam some milk, and make ourselves a cappuccino.
That brings us to the end of our video on the TCA. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have more questions or have a thought about something we didn't cover, drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you there. Subscribe to our channel if you're in the process of looking for coffee gear and you wanna hear about new stuff that's coming out as well as tips and tricks for making better coffee and maintaining your equipment. You can also sign up for our email newsletter to hear about upcoming sales and new products. Just go to the description of this video and follow the link to sign up for that. As a thank you, we will also email you a coupon that's good for 10% off one item. There are exclusions to that coupon, so be sure to contact our sales or support team with any questions you might have. You can email us, give us a call, or chat with us. It's all manned by real people that are here to help you. Thank you for sticking around through the end of this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and keep making coffee you love. See ya.